Hi guys, this is Afi and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm going to make a really simple but delicious sauce that my family and I always enjoy whenever we're eating pasta. You can pair it with rice, you can pair it with beans, you can pair it with anything. But my favorite way of pairing it is with pasta and I'm going to show you guys how to make this delicious and really simple sauce. So let's get right into it. For this recipe, you're going to be needing fish. I'm using smoked mackerel here. Any kind of smoked fish you use is fine, but this really adds tons of flavor to my sauce, okay? I'm also going to be using some ginger garlic paste, just a bit. I'm using my green seasoning. You can check my YouTube shorts on how I made my green seasoning. This is so, so good. I'm going to be using some crayfish, I'm going to be using a mix of tomatoes, some scotch bonnet peppers, cayenne peppers, onions, paprika peppers, green peppers, and spring onions. I'm also going to be adding some onions here. I'll be seasoning my sauce with some fish seasoning, some salt. I've got some vegetable oil here, and I'll be pairing it, like I said, with pasta, okay? So let's get started. So all my peppers have been washed and if you can see I removed the seed from the paprika peppers and the green bell peppers, I've removed the seeds and also I've also cleaned my spring onions. I'm going to be blending everything here in my food processor. Okay? This is the knife blade that I'll be using all right? because I want a rough blend for this sauce. It's really easy and so good. So I'm just going to cut up this into big chunks so that my processor can um, blend it easily now guys if you're yet to subscribe to my channel please do so join this big beautiful family we are growing every day and i'm so happy to let you know that we have reached oh, we're over a hundred thousand subscribers thank you guys so much for subscribing i'm really grateful and thank you for always engaging in the comment section. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Make sure you close this properly or it won't work. So there we have it. We are done. So this is exactly the consistency that we are looking to get, you know, a rough blend. If you don't have a food processor, use your blender, but use the pulse function of your blender. You don't want this smooth, all right? So that's it. So the first step is to add some cooking oil into your pan. That's enough. Once the oil gets hot, we're going to be sauteing our onions and ginger garlic paste in this hot oil. Once the oil is hot enough, add in your onions. Yes, I love to cook with a lot of onions because onions really does add a lot of flavor to your food. Now, make sure you do this on low heat, okay? So it doesn't burn before you're ready to add the next ingredients. Next, you go in with your ginger garlic paste and I'm going to be adding some of this, my lovely green seasoning and I'm going to stir this for a while and let this cook for about 30 to 40 seconds before I go in with the pepper mix. Mm, this smells so good guys, so, so good. Wow. We'll add in our pepper mix. Guys, if my voice is sounding funny, that's because I have a cold or I'm just recovering from a cold. So bear with 
with me, okay? So we're gonna give this a good mix and allow this to cook in this beautiful onions and green seasoning we have in the pan. You can tell this is going to be good. I mean, look at all, look at the color and all the things in here. This is going to be so good, so easy, yet so delish. So I'm gonna cover this pan and allow it to cook. While your sauce is cooking, go ahead and boil your pasta. For your pasta, you need boiling water, which you're going to salt, okay? Make sure you salt this. It really does enhance the taste of your pasta. Go ahead and add in your pasta to this water, okay? I'm using bucatini, it's a type of pasta or any kind of pasta you have is fine. So I'm going to stir this and make sure the whole pasta is well submerged in this water and I'm going to cook this till the pasta is nicely done. You don't want it to be too soft. Just soft but it's still going to have a bite to it, okay? Great. Now I'm not going to cover my pots completely like this because it's going to boil over. I like to leave it halfway closed. Just, you know, careful. <laughs> just like this so when it starts boiling it won't you know make the whole place dirty oh this is cooking so beautifully yum so we're going to go ahead to season this now we're going to be using some fish seasoning i'm going to add in my crayfish this is such an important ingredient in this recipe because it really does add tons of flavor okay and I'm adding in my fish. Now this is the um, smoked catfish, um, sorry, mackerel that I've put in here. And I'm using smoked mackerel because the smokiness of this fish is also going to add its own flavor in this dish, all right? So this goes in. I'm going to stir this first and give it a good taste before I add some salt because salt was used to smoke the fish and the fish seasoning also contains salt. I, as you know, I like to be very careful when adding salt to my dish. So I'm going to taste this now and I'll know whether to add some more salt or not. Mm. So good guys. So, so good. I'm just going to go ahead and add a little salt just to bring it all together just a little because the green seasoning also contains some seasoning so you have to be careful this is so amazing wow and so easy so i'm just going to cover this and allow this to cook okay look at how good this looks whoa my meal is almost ready. I'm so excited. So I'm just going to strain out the water and this is all done. After about six, seven minutes, check on your sauce. Look at how beautiful. Oh, this is good. And guys, it is all done. So, so delicious, so easy and so flavorful. So I'm just going to turn off the heat now and serve this with my beautiful pasta. So good. Thank you so much for watching guys. Do not forget to share this video with your friends and your family. Do not forget to like this video as well and subscribe if you're yet to subscribe. Also remember to hit the notification icon. This is important so you receive any video once I upload it. Okay? Thank you guys. And if you end up recreating this recipe, which I strongly recommend that you do, do not forget to tag me on your social media handle. It's If It's Kitchen on all social media handles, okay? Till I see you some other time, take care and keep eating good food. Bye!